Water is freezing and trees start to bolt And I don't wanna be sitting alone in a room That just filled with my soul And so I came to this place I'm looking for a familiar face And that's when I saw you Last time I spent 30 days surviving in the Canadian Rockies, but now... Effective this Thursday morning, April 2nd, until April 30th, I am ordering all Maine people to stay at home. So this is the 30-Day Survival Challenge Maine Lockdown. And that's it! Fish on! I want you to catch sleep! Wow, I was really not expecting to feel this way about the lockdown. You know, I've spent an awful lot of time out in the woods, and when the governor made the announcement the other day and I decided to have a little fun with it and do a 30-day survival challenge at home, I, I didn't think I'd feel so isolated. It's just me here right now. The girls are with their mom until Sunday. Um, if you're watching this, this is being filmed on day one of the 30-day lockdown that started on April. April 2nd until April 30th. Uh, according to the state of Maine, it is mandated that if you're a non-essential, that you stay at home at risk of, of getting a $1,000 fine or like some number of years in jail uh, if you're not doing something like getting groceries, uh, walking, hiking, or going fishing. So I'm not sure how they're going to regulate that. Maybe there's roadblocks up today and they're giving everybody warnings. And, you know, yesterday when I was out and about finishing up some final errands, there was like all these DEP everywhere and it looked like they were counting cars or something. Uh, so maybe they're out there again today. And I thought this would be fun, you know, for us to do a 30-day survival challenge here. I could share some of my fun ideas and I'm going to be launching these episodes just like three days after so I have a little bit of a delay to start start the series and be able to edit them. I'm not sure how this is all going to pan out. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope I can get up some really fun stuff but because it's not all filmed in 30 days and then I come home and edit it, it's going to be one episode every day and maybe a day off here and there where I'll combine two days the next day or something. So it'll probably be a lot more raw since I'm literally filming it, having these adventures for the next 30 days and posting them every day. I have to say this does feel really weird, you know? I, I spent 87 days alone in Patagonia, but since then I did the 30 day survival challenge with Drop Forge Survival, Chris Thorne, and 30 day survival challenge in Canada with Greg. I'm here in the office with the guys, Brandon and John, you know, Brandon's doing the shipping from home now, and John is doing the editing from home for Greg Oven's Rocky Mountain Bushcraft channel and pre-editing these episodes so I can uh, have the time to be able to really bang them out and get one out every day. And this isn't just happening for me now, too. This is a 30-day survival challenge for those of you that are in lockdown with me. So we're in this together kind of thing, which is very different. So let me just say my hopes and prayers go out to all of you and for those of you that are really <laughs> alone the way I find myself feeling today, I'll get the girls back on Sunday and we'll, they'll be in the episodes and we'll be having all kinds of fun. But uh, if you are alone, don't uh, dwell on it. Do the next thing, as I always say, and then my mom taught me there. Do the next thing and that's what I'm going to do today. I got some uh, books, catch up on some reading, got this cool little uh, shelters and shacks. I'm gonna see if I can't come up with some uh, creative ideas of something to do with the girls when they're here, build some sort of fortress in the backyard. It wouldn't be a 30 day survival challenge if I didn't build something up in the trees, right? So we'll do that. Go out and catch uh, some food as much as possible. Unlike my other 30 day survival challenge series, this isn't gonna be you can only eat what you catch and cook. I have two months worth of food in the fridge, but my goal is to make sure that that is still 
maybe a month and a half worth of food. By the time this is all over, I'm gonna try and catch stuff in my yard. Uh, I got the crow season is still open. There's a couple game animals that are open year round and get on top of that as well as lots of fishing right now. And uh, put my lobster traps out, get some lobsters and be able to feed my family from what I can catch and cook around the, uh, the area. I had so many plans of how I was gonna start this whole adventure and uh, and now I'm just finding myself at all the loss and I, I think the next right thing to do here is uh, I'm just gonna say a prayer for all of us and for all of you since we're in this together kinda uh, I mean state after state everybody's going to lockdown and I hope this video series uh, can help you give you fun ideas of stuff to do with yourself if you are alone because I'm gonna be alone half of the week and then I'll have my girls for the other half of the week and for those of you with families I hope we can uh, do some fun stuff that give you ideas of fun things to do during the lockdown with your families so uh, if you just want to join me in a word of prayer and uh, I'll pray for you guys and pray for our country and and we'll have some adventure Lord, these are strange times, but I know that you are sovereign and that this has not caught you by surprise and that you got our back, that this has not caught you unawares, that you are there for us in this situation and that you have strength for us to make it through this. Thank you for the opportunities that bring it upon us to, to spend more time with our families to slow down a little bit and reach out to others maybe we haven't talked to in a while. Lord, I pray that you would just bless this video series that uh, give me wisdom to bring love and light into people's homes, to encourage them, that they might be built up and encouraged to reach out to others, and that we might just, as a country, draw near to our families even more because of this that would make us stronger and not weaker as a people. Those that don't know you, Lord, might take the time to see you in this situation and to see your grace and love and the opportunity to come to know a personal relationship with you. Pray all this in your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well. I'm not sure, still not sure what to do today for the rest of this. Maybe try to get out and catch a fish, maybe set my lobster traps. Thought I had it all figured out yesterday. Ugh, it is nasty out there. Cameras never show quite how nasty rainy weather is, but it's a little bit nastier than me wanting to go fishing. I haven't lit a match with a slingshot for a while. Almost a year. I haven't even really tried. I still have some of the matches that I made a couple, uh, well, like a year ago. Maybe we'll do that. Hey Google, turn on the shooting range lights. Slingshot, some ammo, and let's see how many matches I got left. Oop, I got a couple of these matches. I'm just gonna rig her up. Bit of the old warm up first. I always do this every time I start out. I take a shot, take a step back until I'm all the way to the back wall, like 48 feet away. stop until I miss. Once I get to the back wall, I gotta keep shooting until I miss one of the targets. And I missed. I decided to go for the tiniest one. Alright, see about that match at, uh, I don't know, 33 feet. Alright, how many shots do you think it takes to get to the center of this Tootsie Pop? I broke the match. Oh, 
right on the head, but it didn't go off. No. I think I just destroyed another match. Oh! Zing! I get the play. Oh, uh oh. I smell sulfur. I don't see. Oh, I don't see it burning anywhere. It must have broke off when I hit it and uh, went flying and put itself out, hopefully. All right, oh, battery's dying. One last chance, got a scrap of a match. Down to the wire, battery's dying on the camera. Boom! Oh, that's what I needed is a bit of pressure. Oh, that was, oh, I better check for a fire. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> uh, just blew up. Blew up, that was the problem with these latest ones I made. This last batch I had made with the powder from the roll caps, because it's easier to get off of here than the the circular ones that go in the revolvers. And unfortunately they tend to blow up and I've only gotten like one delight. So they're like a year old. But uh, the, the, the good ones are the revolver ones. So now what to do, what to do. I think I'm gonna shoot my slingshot some more, put a roast on and uh, why don't you leave it in the comments below. What are you guys doing on this first of lockdown days if you're here in Maine and other states that have uh, been locking down? salad for lunch. I'm not gonna film and show you everything, but uh, yeehaw, I am excited for this. I love corned beef. It's like one of my my favorite things. And uh, I didn't put a lot of vegetables in because I like to every time I reheat it, add a whole fresh new set of vegetables after every, there's enough to eat like two, two meals out of it. I'll probably even take the meat out because every time you reheat it, if you're just a single guy, you know, you go and reheat it and it takes all the flavor and juices out of it. So I'll set the meat aside and add enough just at the last minute for each meal. That's my little hack for it, unless you guys know a better idea. Because, like, if you cook the vegetables more than once, warming them up, the second time they're okay, but third time, they just dissolve. That whole thing just turns into a stewy grossness. Ooh. So fatty, so good. I um, didn't really get up to a lot today except for just little stuff and things. I got a lot of editing to catch up on. I didn't have time to prepare for this series since I just like was announced the other day that the main lockdown is happening due to the virus. And uh, I was like, okay, I thought, uh, let's do this, let's do it. So I gotta catch up on that editing. Hopefully tomorrow we can get up something more and the rain stops, start having some adventures. And then the girls will be here in a couple days. Oh, this looks so good. 
But I did eat my last salad for lunch, which means I got no more salad. Do I go to the grocery store? Or do I keep living off what I got? I got no broccoli and no salad. I still have plenty of other like long-term vegetables and some frozen vegetables. I do have frozen broccoli, that's true. So starting garden is going to be one of my biggest priorities during this. I haven't done one for two years. I used to grow enough tomatoes with just 24 plants and veggies to be able to have a can of tomato sauce for a whole year, every day. One week, one a week, that would give us enough sauce for one pasta dinner and one pizza. So I don't want to go back to that. That was just, that was a lot of work. That's what I was, all that I was into basically, is kind of living off the land and up in the woods, living at the yurt. So it's like, that took up all my time. But definitely lettuce, you know, greens, maybe a few peppers, few tomatoes, the full variety. So I can go out there and pick a fresh salad. So we'll be getting that going, and I'm sure by the end of 30 days I can have some sort of greens to be able to eat my own stuff, as well as I think maybe by the end of this um, the foraging should pick up, because right now it's early enough spring that there really isn't much out there. There might be, I really don't, actually I don't think there's anything, but maybe by the end of this, at the end of the month, there might be some um, fiddleheads, uh, and there might be some cattail shoots, couple of things like that, some uh, asparagus. Maybe a little bit early for that, but we'll see what we get up to. Definitely gonna be some trout. There's definitely some nice trouts out there. My eyes might have got away with me on that one. <laughs> There's a lot of that there. <laughs> oh, cabbage, carrots. I don't have any potatoes. I ate the rest of those the other day with the girls before they left and made them French fries. I've been trying to do the keto thing for years now, and the last year or so, I keep going out of it, coming out of it, and ever since doing the uh, second 30 day survival challenge, I spent so much time in my office editing, I really let, let, let that get away, let, let a lot of, let a lot get away, you know, just working 10 hour days editing, uh, sometimes 15 or 16 hour days. The days that the videos came out for the 30 Day Survival Challenge were like 16 to 18 hour days of editing. As well as the days that I have the girls, taking care of them, being up way before them, sending them off to school, daycare, bringing them back, spending time with them, and as soon as they're in bed, being up until midnight working on this stuff, on the videos. So it, it took a toll on me. And I gotta figure out a better rhythm. So I'm really looking forward to this next 30 days, fitting, figuring out a better pattern for my life. Because when I go on the 30 day survival challenge, I'm so disciplined and I can eat very little and my body consumes its extra body fat and I lose a lot of weight and I come back so strong and feeling so good. And then I, I get at home and I spend so much time editing. And I, I start skipping my workouts and I stop skipping, you know, and I only get out on one little weekly adventure of fishing and I, I only shoot the slingshot like five days a week instead of like three or four times a day a little bit. And the next thing I know, I'm starting to put the weight back on again because I'm eating carbs and uh, I'm just always hungry. I've always struggled my weight. As long as I'm eating carbs in my diet, I struggle my weight. So I'm gonna take advantage of this time during this 30 day survival challenge here at home to try to build some better home disciplines for myself. Because it's crazy, because I am so disciplined everywhere else. But food, food's one of my, food's, food's a hard point for me, I think. You know, when I'm out there and I'm doing my thing and I'm active, I'm busy, it's not even, an, it's not an issue at all. I don't miss it, I'm not craving it, I'm not going nuts about it until the last day. Like, oh man, I can't wait for something good. But uh, at home, I struggle with that a little bit. But when I'm doing the ketogenic thing, for those of you who've been following me for a while, you hear me talk about it, maybe you thought about doing it, maybe now's the time to look up ketogenic diet and start getting into it. I mean, if the grocery store is closed forever, there's not going to be a lot of choice, and for the most part, you're going to be a forced ketogenic diet, very low carbs. You won't be able to get the carbs and sugars that are so bad for us. Bit of my... Special stuff here, this is a, a kimchi powder that I purchased for making kimchi uh, years ago and now I use it as a spice on all my foods. And it's uh, it's like a, it's a red pepper but it's not a hot red pepper. 
And oh, maybe I'll put a couple more pieces of meat right there on top so we can get the good, oh, get that beautiful. Ooh, doesn't that just look? Ooh, what do you think? Did I nail it or what? Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. And this next 30 days is gonna be good too. I'm really excited about this. When I first, it first started out this morning, I was like, uh, it was a very cringy, very nervous, and uh, I felt really heavy weight on my chest. And then as the day went on, after praying about it, and uh, I, I'm really, I'm really excited for this. I'm excited to, to try some new things, to try and you know find a new rhythm for my life. Leave it in the comments below. Are you taking advantage of this? Or are you gonna sit at home with your ice cream and your Netflix? Or are you gonna have some adventure in this too? But for now. I'm gonna say grace, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for corned beef and cabbage. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. A little bit of carrot, a little bit of corned beef, and a little piece of everything on there. I'm gonna the parsnip. Mmm, magnifique. Well, I'm gonna finish my meal, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully the rain stopped, and get out there, catch a fish, maybe uh, trap something, or build something, or who knows what. Sky's the limit. See you in the next one. Fowler out.